Hey, Mike here from Inbox with Mike and Jess, and today I am going to be unboxing the August 2016 Loot Crate. Uh, its theme is Anti-Hero. Now, some of you are probably wondering why I'm doing the August Loot Crate unboxing near the end of September, and that's because I actually just got my August Loot Crate today. Um, I know a lot of Americans have already received their September loot crate, but here in Canada, Canada Post is not very reliable. And that's actually one of the drawbacks of being a Canadian looter because often uh, we get our loot crates very, very late. This is actually the latest I have uh, ever received my loot crate. Uh, but hopefully my September one won't be far behind and I'll have a uh, unboxing that is more uh, uh, more on schedule. Now, um, I've already cut the sticker open, so let's unbox this. Alright. So first thing you see is this Archer t-shirt. Right, let's have a look at it trying to get it as far away from the camera as possible so you can see let's see our sterling archer it's a presidential campaign t-shirt danger zone president oh i like that oh, do you want a president because that's how you get a president <laughs> all right this is a pretty awesome t-shirt um so i got the extra large i used to get large but I've noticed that their sizes have shrunk, uh, have, are smaller nowadays. Uh, so for the last couple of crates, I've been buying the extra large for myself and then uh, putting it through the wash and drying it. And it's actually it actually fits me a lot better uh, now that I've done that shrunk. So I shrink the extra large a little bit for that. So it's good. Uh, this is a Fruit of the Loom heavy cotton HD t-shirt. Um, yeah, the um, it's it's quite soft. I, I actually, when I saw it was Fruit of Loom, I was worried that uh, it would be stiff, kind of like the Gildan T-shirts that you get from T Fury. But no, this is uh, it's quite soft. So, and it's not a black T-shirt. Those of you who read my blog know that I I'm just tired of getting black T-shirts. So, this being a gray one and an awesome Archer T-shirt is fantastic. All right, so. What else is in here? Okay. Oh, Kill Bill socks. Made in China. Uh, let's see how to open this. Not down here. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Um, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I'm gonna let's try opening this. All right, taking the tag off. Oh. Well, that is a fantastic design. I'm a huge fan of the Kill Bill movies, and this this is just phenomenal. It's her shoe and part of her pants, which is, oh, I am totally going to wear these. Okay, moving on. Now I see a Harley Quinn up here, but I'm going to actually pull something smaller out of the box first. This is a Hellboy right hand of doom ceramic bank loot crate exclusive Ooh, i love loot crate exclusives uh it's something i really appreciate about loot crate that they go out of their way to have things uh have items made that you can't get anywhere else uh which is amazing value oh i like this not a massive fan of hellboy uh, I've read a f few of their comics and watched the movies, but this is a uh, like this is very sturdy feeling 
bank, although I, I wouldn't drop it on the floor since it's ceramic. Um, but it looks fantastic. Looks great on this on this uh, on the table. Definitely going to be putting uh, travel money in this, saving up for another vacation with Jess. All right. And as per usual, I'm making a huge mess. Okay, here is the August 2016 anti-hero pin. I've mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. I really appreciate that Loot Crate has increased the quality of their pins. They use up buttons, just round, normal button, uh, buttons with an orange border. But now they've gone to metal pins, um, proper pins, and they're made very well very very well like this is a world of warcraft pin and just the detail on the pin the colors everything looks amazing and one of the nicer things about these new types of pins that loot crate is going with is that i feel more comfortable wearing them or or putting them on my bag than the original pins not that not that it wasn't great to have loot crate pins but uh, just just something about the orange border that I never fully liked, but I just accepted because, you know, I'm a looter. And now these, these, you know, most people won't just say, oh, that's a Loot Crate pin because it doesn't say Loot Crate on it. But um, those in the know know what this is. And those who don't, who like the designs, and because the designs are awesome, are going to ask about it. And then you can tell them you're a looter. And, you know, for Loot Crate's purposes, that's good marketing. Because then you'll tell them where you got it. All right. I'm pulling the Harley out, but even before I do that, I am first going to have a look uh, at this mini magazine. One of my favorite parts of being a looter is the mini magazine. A lot of thought is always placed into the making of these magazines. Mind you, the cover design this month isn't exactly the best, but you know what? It's not about the cover. Really, it's about what's inside it. Uh, and I can already see, let's see, a preview of Suicide Squad Rebirth number one, learn the secrets behind Hellboy's right hand of doom, claws, uh, cosplay, and more at Anime Expo. I mean, already, ooh. Okay, oh, wow. Okay, that's what the, the box is. I, I was kind of confused when I first opened the box. I have no idea what it does, but as you can see here, it turns into, I'm guessing, Harley Quinn's mallet. Okay, that is that is wonderful. Uh, history of Harley Quinn, you know, Sirens of the Squad, favorite running gags from Archer, what's your killer code name, uh, descriptions of the item, Hellboys, Hot Wings, and Anti-Potato Salad. This is just, and here's the comic, um, I mean, there's just so much in here, and I'm always impressed with the mini magazine. Fantastic, okay. Finally, and I've been saving this for last because it is so awesome. It is a Harley Quinn Q-Fig. Um, the first one I saw from Loot Crate of these uh, Q-Figs was the Deadpool one, which I did not get. And I kind of regret it, but I kind of don't only because I have too many. <laughs> Too many things on my shelf already, but uh, since then uh, I've gotten a Hulk Q fig from Loot Crate, and now I have Harley Quinn. Oh, this is so exciting! Um, let's see how do I. I love Harley Quinn, um, and she was the best part of the Suicide Squad movie. If you haven't seen it, I'm, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. But I didn't like it as much as I hoped I would. Um, so yes, I'm now giving you an impromptu Suicide Squad movie review. Uh, it, it was it was okay. I mean, I had an entertaining time, but there was way too much Will Smith, whose character was boring as heck. 
Well, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn was the star of the movie and made me love it. I won't watch it again, but if they do make another Suicide Squad, I'm probably going to watch it. And I heard they're making a Harley movie, which I am crazy excited about. Now, uh, this is the Q-Fig, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Only thing I want to confirm is whether her eyes her eyes are completely white there are no pupils in her eyes and yes that's normal okay I as long as it's not a uh, miss paints I am good I put in miss me okay so here is the Q fig um, Wow the, the, I'm just going to move things out of the way to, to get a better angle for you and get a view on the camera. Um, so it's Harley Quinn with giant mallet in her original Harley Quinn outfit with a dog in a jester outfit, which is amazing. Uh, the detail, lots of good details here. It's phenomenal. And the paint job is really really good like not a lot of uh, mi mistakes here I mean you know sometimes the paint goes out of the, you know it just spreads around and it's just not very good but no no this this one's good um, I, I really appreciate that she has this little speech bubble here it just kind of adds, adds a lot to the figure and this is officially my favorite item in this crate just fantastic. Okay, and that is the August Loot Crate. Um, overall, I feel that I got really, really good value for this. I mean, a ceramic uh, piggy bank, a great pin, the t-shirt is, uh, and, and the socks, and the just, I like everything. There is literally no item in this box I do not like or appreciate. And uh, and the box itself, mind you, I'm probably going to be recycling it, can be turned into a mallet. Um, that, <laughs> that just really, really adds to the, uh, the value of the crate. Um, I feel that if you haven't... If you haven't subscribed to Loot Crate yet, and you you're on the fence, this this shows you just the kind of value you get, the type of items you're gonna get. This is actually rather typical, and it is on uh, the it, it, the theming is great. This especially this month. I mean, everything is definitely anti-hero, and that's that's phenomenal. Um, so yeah, go to LootCrate.com. If you want to find out more about Loot Crate or if you want to subscribe, I think they usually have uh, some kind of discount code that you can find on their uh, Facebook group. I think the last time I checked was SAVE10, S-A-V-E-1-0. Um, but it could be a new one. But either way, it, it's good for a discount on new subscriptions. So, um, yeah. Fantastic. Love it. If definitely a, a everything's a keeper here so um, yeah that's all for me this month stay tuned for more unboxings and other uh, inbox style reviews uh, if you want more inbox you can go to the inbox blog ca.blogspot.com thank you very much for watching guys have a good day